In this video, I want to show you how to fill your tax form for Impact Radios or Impact.com. So if you do affiliate marketing with Impact.com and you have earned some money, Impact is going to ask you to fill your tax ID or your tax document. So in this video, I want to show you how to fill it, especially if you do not um, reside in the United States or if you do not have a um, a tax number or a tax id so the first step is of course to come to your dashboard and depending on the kind of payment threshold you've set inside of impact.com after some time you are going to feel you are going to get this pop-up right here that says a w8 electronic tax document is required before a payment can be made. So submit your tax document. So you click on this. So automatically this is going to come up and it's going to stay here until you fill it up. So you just come here, you click on it, and then it's going to take you to the tax, the, where you fill your tax information. So after that, you are going to come to an interface like this. And the W9 is basically for um, I think people who live in the United States or um, but this is the one we want we want to fill this W eight B E N. So you click on that and then you click on continue. This is of course if you are a regular person and not a business. So you click on continue. So as you can see again, it says in order to be paid, you need to supply a valid and a duly signed W nine or W eight. B E N or W H B E N E four. So the the onus is on you to um, ensure that the name provided agrees with any banking information you provided. So this is actually important because in my I talked about this in one of the videos I made already. So in my other account, my payment was withheld or was delayed because I added an account that was different from the name I was using in the account, in the, um, the platform or on the platform. So make sure that the name you are using tallies with the name you want to use to withdraw this uh, money. So after all of this, you can say, okay, continue so that you, you see the form. So this is a form we want to fill and automatically it shows you the important places that you need to fill. So in this case, we are going to fill the name. Then we select the country. We are going to select the permanent address, the city and town, the country again. So this is the country of citizenship Then the foreign tax number if you have. And um, I'm going to show you how to put a foreign tax number if you don't. So I'm just going to fill out some of this information here. So the first one is basically the name. So you put the name on the account. Make sure that this is your correct name, of course. So right here, you need to fill your date of birth. So make sure to use the date of birth that tallies with any proper means of identification that you have. So here where you need to fill in the um, ID, the tax identification number. So some countries do not give um, tax identification numbers to their indigent or to their citizens like i think nigeria but if you wanted to get a tax identification number you can of course go and create one for your business so you can go to um, the NIN um, website and then you can get a NIN. but if you do not have a NIN or you don't want to or have a tax id you can basically just create any number that will just amount to 10. So in this case, I'm just going to create some numbers here. So here it says it has to be 10. So after filling your tax ID, you can now go to the bottom of the page and you come here where it says I certify blah, blah, blah. So this is where you need to sign and to sign. All you have to do is again, just put your name. So after putting your name, you can see that we are ready to go. So you click on finish. So here it says you have to sign 
just as you can see this is our name and um, you can say adopt and sign this of course becomes your signature you come here you click on finish so as you can see it says here thank you for submitting your electronic task document and blah 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 so you are basically done so this is how to submit your tax id to impact.com or your tax document i hope this video was helpful please like this video subscribe and um, i'll see you in my next video bye bye